Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in the Modern Testament, the Book of Parables, Chapter 4. Hear now a parable of the Kingdom of God. In a zoo, a zookeeper manages six adult male lions, each of whom weigh between 200 and 700 pounds. To house these majestic beasts, the zookeeper stores each lion from left to right in ascending order of weight. From left to right, their names are Goliath, Phicol, Achish, Baal, Dagon, and Samson. One day, the, the zookeeper decides to house his lions in new wooden cages. Each of the lions is tranquilized and transferred to their new cages. When they wake up, it is nighttime and their food and water is outside their cage ready to be given them the next morning. The first three lions paw and bite at the wood, and Baal and Dagon even throw their weight at the cages with a craving for the meats. However, the largest of the group, the lion Samson, is more determined than his smaller counterparts. Samson turns his head sideways and grips the two pillars of the cage with his massive jaw, he then braces on his four limbs and begins to pull backwards. At first, he pulls and pulls and nothing happens. But as he ramps up his effort, he feels a movement in the cage. A slight crack sounds as the core of the pillars are breaking from within, and Samson senses that now is the time to give everything he has. With a majestic roar, he pulls as hard as he can, and the wooden bars cave inwards, first bending and then snapping leaving enough space for him to push his way out of the cage. Samson's roar of freedom is long and loud. In fact, the roar is so loud, the zookeeper is alerted from his sleep and prepares to check out the noise. In the meanwhile, Samson eats his share of the food. Then he eats Dagon's food. Then he eats Baal's food. Then he eats Achish's food. Then he eats Phicol's food and he finishes by eating Goliath's food. By the time the zookeeper arrives, he witnesses the spectacle of Samson roaring at the smaller lions, asserting his dominance, ready to eat their share once again. The zookeeper laughs with understanding, and unlike some of his peers who would have tranquilized Samson, he goes into the shed and returns with another piece of meat and throws it over the wall to Samson, who devours it with joy. The next morning, the zookeeper installs a brick cage for Samson and decides that from here on out, Samson will be fed a portion of all the food meant for the other five cats. The lion's share of the meat must go to Samson, he says to himself, for he is my best animal, a male the people will pay to see. And the zookeeper proved right. And the zookeeper proved to be right. For in every lion exhibition, all the children hurry to see Samson, the strongest lion of them all. The kingdom of God is like unto the zookeeper, who when faced with the reality that one of his lions was strong enough to break his cage and dominate the other animals, he rewarded that animal with the lion's share of the food. For as Lord Jesus Christ teaches, to whom hath, more shall be given, and to whom hath not, even what he hath shall be taken from him. As Nerangelicals, we must adhere to this teaching. For when a pride of lions kills a beast in the wild, it is the dominant male who eats first. This male protects the pride with his life, and he commands the lion's share of the food. So is this for us Nerangelicals. For to all Nerangelicals, to whom hath, more will be given.